My name is Sherry Kreider, and uh, first of all, I want to thank Suzanne and all of her staff here. Without 516, I mean, I can't imagine what Albuquerque would be. Um, and so I press, forgive, uh, to the right here. That's me. <laughs> So just a little history of, of me and, and kind of what has uh, led me to Albuquerque, like many of us. We just kind of arrived here and we're planning to stay for a short time um, and have been here much longer than we expected. Um, I came to graduate school in the MFA program in, I graduated in 2001. And um, this is a slide of a space that I started about six years ago. It's SCA Contemporary. and um, and the premise of it really started in graduate school. Me and two of my friends, we had a uh, show in Roosevelt Park. We were kind of felt snubbed by, we had been to a couple of the spaces in Albuquerque. And they, you know, they were boys and they didn't really treat us very well. And, and, we, and we wanted, you know, like we've talked a lot about, um, you know, community. I really wanted art to be a part of the community, not an isolated group. I wanted my work to be seen by more than just the knowing of what art is. Um, and Steve Barry, Steve Barry has a lot to do with this space. Um, he was the, um, the chair of my committee and he really, um, how do I put it, he just really is committed to making art in a very intense way and he really instilled that to me that it's really an important thing to be done you know for art to be made for it to be seen and for it to be a part of the community so i had an idea and all through graduate school i worked in residential construction to you know pay my bills etc so i've always had the construction and and i'm a sculptor too so I've been, I do, I'm a little bit insane where I do a lot of things. And so, you know, while I'm doing this space, I'm also have a full-time job and, you know, and adopt a couple of kids and, you know, and, and then, then it's funny, people will call me at SEA and they'll ask, well, well, you know, who am I speaking to? You know, and I always say we, but it's really me and my wonderful family who supports me. So we've had over... Um, 70 exhibitions. It's a beautiful space. I poured tons of money and um, work into this space. I lease this space. The landlord is is not the greatest person. Um, you know, he 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 doesn't really care about much. So we have a lot. There are a lot of issues with this space, and it had kind of run its course. So then I had. Uh, this is a show we just had, an amazing show, Nina Dubois. And, and so I kind of catered to, you know, people ask me, who, who is your curator? And I'm like, well, it's me, you know. And, um, and, and I really want to give artists an opportunity because I felt, um, you know, I, I came from art from a very naive place. I didn't know the hierarchy involved and the protocol, you know, and, you know, so I had to have these epiphanies where like, okay, well, I got my MFA and like, if I want to have a show, I have to pay money to, I have to make the work, pay for the venue, do, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I'm like, that's not, I want to have a place where I can offer exhibition space it doesn't cost anything. So I provide exhibition space to exceptional MFAs in, um, from UNM, and then I do a call for entries yearly. Um, you know, and I have a lot of friends that, uh, across the country, so it's a really nice mix of uh, regional artists, um, you know, pretty well known. We've had, I've actually shown the work of three people that's been in the Whitney Biennial. Um, you know, so, so it's a really wide range of work. Um, so then I had this other idea. You know, once uh, last winter, when we had that, uh, I guess it was two weeks where it didn't get above um, 20 degrees or something. 
So the meter outside our building froze. And, and the, this building is, is beautiful, but it, it has a lot of problems. We share the space with five different renters, and, and they're all guys, and they're not going to listen to my construction experience, or, you know, and they're like, right away, I'm like, something's broken, we could get a plumber. Well, no, we'll wait. So we waited two months, and I hauled water to the space, you know, and the landlord, again, doesn't really care about that. So, um, so I have this idea, you know, because I'm paying this guy a lot of money. I put a lot of money into the space, and it's really, it has poor lighting. It has a lot of faults, you know, and, and I, um, so I decided that I wanted to build a new space. And what are those parking lots you're talking about? So my partner and I have, I mean, we, we are very committed to whatever it is we do, and little do we know the pratfalls that are ahead of us, you know, when we have these ideas. So we purchased the lot at 9th and Teharis. Um, that's one block north of uh, the farmer's market. It's one third of an acre. And um, this image is courtesy of Dan Hur, who is also, you know, one of these people that is, you know, really believes in the core. He just uh, did the Zendo Cafe. His office is right next to it. <laughs> tractor brewing. I worked with him with the tractor brewing project. So this is the facility. Hopefully, we are going to break ground in the next like couple of weeks because so the thing that I really want to talk about is um, that I really believe we need some sort of liaison in the city. You know, if because it is of the city's benefit to grow this <coughs> creative core, but it is set up to be you know very difficult for people like me to negotiate. Like I, you know, I'm a DIY kind of person. They give me a checklist, you need to do this. I'll do the checklist, you know? And um, I mean, this process of building this, it's in a historic area. Um, just the red tape, we've spent probably, you know, a large, a large chunk of money hiring someone to, to negotiate that system, and I don't think that that's the way it should be. I think that, you know, it, it really caters to architectural firms. Um, and if we really want to forefront, you know, this kind of creative, different types of project, not everybody has the money to hire an architectural firm to get a project through. You know, and, and we have a lot of small spaces in the, um, in Albuquerque, Cosmos, and 5G. I mean, there's this whole other side of having a business that supports the arts, the legal side of it, the zoning, the occupancy class. There's so many things that you have, you know, you just have an idea and you have no idea what it's gonna be. So this, this facility is gonna be, it's about 2,500 square feet of exhibition space. There's a fabrication space. That's all on the first floor. There are 10 studios. And then just east of the parking lot, there are two residences that I hope to develop an artisan residency program. Um, and what else do I have to say? There's April. Thank you.